Hello fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we owned to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Genoa Sun Odyssey 50DS. Welcome to our five-part cleaning, organisation and fixing series where you'll witness the finalisation of our winter chapter before we jump into our epic season 2 Greek Odyssey around the island in 80 days. Now, dear viewer, gather round for a tale. In the shadowy depths of Trinity stirs an ancient evil known only as the Black Mold. With its foul breath and creeping tendrils, it threatens to consume our noble vessel. But fear not, for our intrepid crew embarks on a quest to banish this mildew menace from our midst. Will they emerge victorious? Join us this episode to find out. Don't miss the chance to support us by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments we cherish connecting with y'all now without further ado let's dive right in and escape the mold oh i mean ordinary together our jobs today we need to empty the sail locker which is also full of mold team martin is there <laughs> ready to start probably gonna tell me to hurry up i'm going to quickly bring up the halyard as well to bring up the dinghy well it's connected to our dinghy because we need a bit more space up there a bit of ventilation better area a bit of room to work around and the dinghy's in the way i can go yeah All good? All good? All good? Okay. Cool. We'll just empty everything out onto the deck, put it down this side of the deck, the side that we're not walking on. Be gentle, obviously put the stuff down on the new board. Mm -hmm. the and I'll get in and I'll clean all the mold up. Okay. There's that little entryway right there. Yep. That leads into the bedroom, into the master cabin. See, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty moldy down there many moldy things so we need to sort that out maybe we'll lift the dinghy over as well it's gone and laid everything out on the pontoon needs a serious wash we are using a lovely vinegar detergent bowl mixing very unscientifically in that bucket and we'll be using that to clean down everything before it goes back into the soon to be not moldy anymore cell locker <laughs> Black mold, scientifically known as Stachybotrys charterum, thrives in damp, poorly ventilated sailboat environments, spreading quickly and posing health risks to crew members. Inhalation of its spores can trigger respiratory issues and allergies. Did you know that indoor air can be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air, according to the EPA? Regular inspection and proper ventilation are essential for prevention, ensuring a safe and healthy sailing experience and crew. Easing out the halyard now so we can took the dinghy off the front Whoop. all right time to clean this as well now I need out here. filthy we'll give her a bit of a wash even this is bloody full of mold moldy boat yeah. is that a bit better So that's up to one on the gauge. I'll do the same on the on the other side. Feels better. We're going to be using our dinghy a lot this season. I can't wait. Fishing, to fishing. Going ashore. I'm gonna have to learn how to use it. I'm good on the dinghy. I'm a good rower. I'm really good at kayaking. Really good. Not Olympic level or anything. <laughs> I'm really excited to go to some beaches and little secret places that we can't get to with our massive keel or we'll be beached but we can go on the dinghy, Neo That's that That's that Now we do need to get a bit of clean on Let's go from here 
the spray comes out. So not enough to the sail locker. That's it. A recessed cup to allow the water pipes to come through into the cell locker. That was letting a lot of damp in under the bed and cold under the bed. So it's just a draft, so I've got some expanding foam. I'm just gonna spray it on it and hopefully we can lock it up. See what happens. Clean this. I need to get out. We're, we're done with this job. Yeah. We'll pause there. The cat's been in. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this from here. Ooh. So I did the sail locker today, cleaned it out, made a lot of room and actually quite inspired now to turn it into more of a, a better storage area. So there's, there's two sides of the hull that would definitely be hanging ropes on and whatever else and the same with all of our cleaning equipment, our brooms and all that type of thing. So a bit of a brainstorm going on at the moment. I think I'll have a bit of a design tonight, think about how best to do it and turn it into like a, a mini garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need one. We do need one. And there's stuff sitting there that we don't use that often. So it should really be for toys and emergency grab bag and that type of thing. But all of our uh, extra lines, our mooring lines, our spring lines, fenders, anchors, uh, even uh, cleaning products yeah. and, and oils and greases and all that definitely be going up there. Every time we go on someone's boat, there's always a room where they're like, don't look in there or don't worry about that. And it's the garage equivalent. So, I mean, anyone that has a boat, let us know. If you have a junk room or a garage room, <laughs> we've been actually using a guest head, which is not good because we're going to be having people on over the summer. Our guest bedroom head. Mm -hmm. Not the, the guest, sorry. The guest cabin. Not the guest bed. Yeah. Ruined full of stuff so that's why we're very excited for that organizational implementation video that we will be doing soon mm -hmm. but for now i'm glad you're feeling inspired so we're just taking the sails out to dry them after all the wet weather that we've had you can see we have the main the head sail out at the moment it's a bit moldy but it looks well it gets a bit moldy. We also we went down into the sail locker where we store some of our portable baggage, our duffel bags and whatever else. One of them's come out, it's absolutely destroyed with mold. So a lesson to be learned is that make sure we tear out the sail locker a bit longer, especially if you're keeping cloth type bags down there or anything else. I'll give you a quick look at it now. And let's see the mold on the bottom. It's pretty disgusting. Good to get the sails out, even though we're at the marina. <laughs> I want to get the sail out. Maybe that was damp before it went in. Possible. Currently, on this beautiful spring day, it's 24 degrees in Pavesa and it may not sound that hot but it's very warm after the winter we've had. Some mornings like we're close enough to the mountains and there's a lot of snow and that kind of fell down but really cold. So that's nice. Um, the beautiful blue sky I just took a lovely video of. I'll another day to get some cleaning done. We're leaving the marina in T minus three days finally but also a bit nervous but i think that's normal after having not been on the water for such an extended period of time but i'm more excited than anything the second the sun comes out i feel like my entire mood and like demeanor changed and lifted and i'm feeling so much better and i mean you guys get it you're probably the same i think everybody experiences that sunbathe and refresh and photosynthesize in the lovely sun all right well now we're about to clean we opened our windows. We lifted up our blinds today for the first time in a while. And obviously we're very publicly positioned in the marina, so we've had them down for all, like the whole wind. Lifted them up to let the beautiful sun in. And along with the beautiful sun, we found a lot of not so beautiful black mold. 
surprise, lots of that, even more in the boat. We'll let you know how that goes in 10 years down the line, see how we are health-wise. But for now, better, better get to cleaning it. So I'll give you guys a look and then we'll get, we'll get rid of it. God, I love that three time zoom. I've never seen the sky that color. It's just say the Greek flag is very fittingly blue. Get on. Oh, that's gonna boop your nose. Are you excited to clean the black mold? No, because you're clean. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> for the not so beautiful part. Hello. Okay, it won't even focus. It's so manky. Plenty of you. Getting a little bit on the window. It would seem. It's actually a lot worse here. Look. Oh. Yeah. It's all here on the window too. And these are no better. I mean, it's actually not as bad on this side because this side of the boat got a lot more sun. We are a lot more alongside. The sun obviously comes in here. This side of the boat's been fine. The same with my cabin was totally okay while the master cabin. I'll show you is on the port side of the boat which is against the pontoon there was mold all over me because of the lack of sunlight bound to get a bit of mold over winter in any way but you can see a very large difference between this window ahead of me and the one back there that i showed you which is extremely filthy so i'm going to stop yapping about the windows i'm going to start cleaning the mold off of them <laughs> Big very easily. At the car wash. I love the car wash. Shining, sparkling. This is kind of funny though. <laughs> <laughs> the we feet. Just, we just hear a big plop. It just rolls over. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. It's a hard life cleaning those filthy windows. Can't beat microfiber. Yeah. Where? Ah! Free, free finish. The air is dusty. So, yep, it's a bit dirty. But it's mostly dust. The windows weren't that dirty. We've washed them that many times over the last few days. It's just a film of dust from what's in the air. But now they're dry and streak free. Oh, that's fun. Give it a little twirl. Cheerleader, go Trinity! This is Eve and then here needs to be done as well. Yeah. And then I'll clean the actual window. Okay. Finished demolding. The rest of our little portholes. Now I have a question for you guys. Struggling to get the mold off the rubber seals here around the window, okay? It's the only spot we've had a lot of trouble with, even with the demolding spray, anti-mold spray. So if anyone has any suggestions, or if they've dealt with this themselves, please let us know. The shell is significantly easier to clean than the silicone. We even use like a little skewer with the cloth wrapped around it to kind of get into it, but it seems to be quite stained, so... If anyone knows, let me know, please. <laughs> but everything else is lovely and gleaming. A lot easier to clean. Next, I'm 
to empty these back lockers. I'm going to take everything out of it, pop it onto the other side of the boat, get into cleaning that, and then cleaning anything that's kind of going back in there. We've ordered a ton of new organizational things that are yet to arrive. So when they do, we will be spending more time kind of reorganizing all of these areas and improving efficiency and safety. Now, for in this current moment, we are focusing on cleanliness. And they're pretty filthy, so let's get to them. else have a random unnecessary surplus of deck safety harnesses because we do hello hello always dream come true if you ask me we've got plenty we've got plenty safe on Trinity of storage space in here and plenty of mold as well <laughs> here she is opens up Ready to clean? Absolutely grimy. Oh, perfect timing. Okay. Thanks. Their locker is demolded. <laughs> Done. Done. Can I have the mold spray, please? Here you go. Oh, thank you. All right. been 10 minutes so I can finally open up our lock car again Let's see what it looks like less moldy oh I hope oh oh my gosh how effective oh let me get to wiping all of that away I'm actually very pleased with that product that's very cool less mold us. Uh, Cinders, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella's back. Uh, so you have to earn your keep on this on this Trinity with this Trinity crew, don't you, yeah, Taylor? I'm pretty comfy to be honest. Yeah. Fumigating myself. So I'm glad it's outside and it's looking clean now. Bippity boppity boo! Look at this! Lovely! <laughs> Lovely and mold free. Cut me some slack. Um, there's a lot of stains that I couldn't get out. Me speaking to dad in the corner of my eye. <laughs> a lot okay. of stains that I couldn't get out. But vinegar and detergent did a very good job. And then I just paper toweled everything, picked up all the debris and the mess, and yeah. So we just put everything back into the lockup. It's all clean now. It's not particularly organized, as I did mention previously, we'll be doing organizing at a later date our main priority now is to just get the first cleaner over and done with we will be cleaning her again and again and again before we leave it's just she's so filthy that it does need to be done in layers and over a few days <laughs> this was one of those days but this is what she looks like now nice and clean mold and the old sticker is gone beautiful love lovely lovely
this absolute filth mold tour. Yeah. I'll take you in there for a second. <laughs> Get me out! Oh. Going down, Captain. <laughs> You never say that to the captain. We're going oh, no. down. We're going down. Hi. That was a very successful day. We did actually have a bit of a late start today. Um, we prioritized a bit of channel work this morning, but it's been beautiful weather. We've been blessed with all day, so we can't complain. And yeah, the sun is starting to set. Everything's being put back for now. It's all cool. You guys see, seen everything. I'm sure you're just itching for us to get back on the water. So are we. So are we. Wintering is a pleasure and a privilege to be living on the sailboat. However, the winter is rough. And anyone will tell you that very, very soon we'll be receiving our sailing gratification and so will you guys. I'm very excited for the organisation. We have had some requests regarding our organisation. Yeah. Oh. The kitchen roll is trying to say hello. End of programme. Down we go. So we have a, a short summary of today's events. What did we do in the, in the master cabin? We cleaned all the bilges out. All under the bed, everything resealed. That expanding foam, that little break in between sail locker and the, cap, the main head under the bed. The main head under the bed. Say that three times fast, I certainly can't. <laughs> then, what else did we do today? We took out everything from that back locker, cleaned that, demolded all of that, took everything out of the sail locker, demolded all of that. Demolded? New word. I'll take it, I'll claim it. If it doesn't exist, I okay. cleaned Took the dinghy up and out, cleaned that. A brief clean, as I said, this is like a surface level cleaning week. Let me put you here, actually. Demolding was a big thing. We still have a lot of lockers to do. Yeah, they're still full of mold. Lots and lots and lots of mold. <laughs> but that's part of living on a sailboat over winter. And it's the consequences of our own actions. So happy that it's all done. As I said, the sun is setting now. You can see it. I can feel it, lucky me. But yeah, we are done. Done for today. Thanks for joining the cleaning crew. Maybe we should give up our lives on the yacht. And just start cleaning boats. <laughs> Before we trade it all in for the boat cleaning life, perhaps we should trial it out for a few more episodes. With part one complete and the black mold slain along with it, that's all we have for you this week, folks. Tune in next episode as the saga of our final winter chapter continues and as we all get one step closer to our much-awaited season two, around the islands in 80 days. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys.